Jan Blahovich, Izzy Adesanya, they've got a date. Okay. Now, this might be the worst kept secret of 2020. The fact that these guys are going to fight each other. But there did seem to be a little bit of turmoil. I seem to recall Adesanya flying to the apex and having like a media day about this fight. But then all of a sudden, John Jones was flirting with coming back down. And, and all of a sudden, a couple of middleweights are starting to align and call out Adesanya where it just got a little bit unclear. So I realize I'm not bringing you guys news. I realize that you have the info these two are going to fight. We have a date. But on the heels of that comes John Jones, who made it very clear he's not going to return to 205 pounds. Now, John's taking a little heat for that right now. All the, all the typical schoolyard antics of you're scared to fight Adesanya. Look, I will meet you halfway. John Jones can no longer talk about he wants to fight Adesanya if he's refusing to come down to a weight class that Adesanya is moving to. Okay, but before you go all the way in on crazy land, Jones and Adesanya was nothing more to talk to start with. Jones did leave, at least through the media, he did leave the division prior to Adesanya coming to it. So. Let's, leave, let, let's give John Jones a little bit of a break on this one, okay? Let Anasanya come up. Let him deal with Blahovich. But I do think that it's imperative, and I think it's wise, of John Jones to say he's not going to come back for himself. If he, one thing he doesn't need to do is teeter between two weight classes, particularly a weight class that has a 60-pound weight discrepancy. John himself has said from day one, if I go to heavyweight, I am going to take six months and I'm going to dedicate that to gaining weight. He has a goal in mind of 240 pounds. Now, I only bring that to you because even in John's mind, even if in the back of his mind, he's going to return to 205 pounds someday, you can't have both goals. He can't have a goal, even partway, of being striking distance from 205 pounds. Oh, and have a goal partway that his next fight is in the heavyweight class. That's not fair to him. He has the right to go and pursue something new. The day that he announced he was going to pursue something new, we all thought that was the greatest thing. Oh, this is so cool. He's already cleaned out 205. And then once he took a couple of steps in that direction, that's when we started to try to pull him back. I mean, it was kind of one of these things. Excuse me, where John just couldn't win. I mean, he just couldn't win in the eyes of the fans and media. I'm with you. If we've got to tease him to get him and Adesanya together, it seems like the juice is worth the squeeze because that is the fight we'd want to see. But in fairness to John and his own career, he could end up being locked in there with Francis. So many people are conceding if he goes to heavyweight, he weighs what Stipe weighs, weighs right now. I've heard other fighters do interviews on that. Go, well, John weighs 230, Stipe weighs 230. There's nothing to gain here. He can still take out Adesanya. John doesn't know that, and neither do we. We do not know that John's next opponent is going to be Stipe. We don't know that his next opponent is not going to be Francis. We don't know that after that, it's not going to be the Derek Lewis's and the Curtis Blades, some pretty good-sized heavyweights. And if the only thing that has given John an apprehensiveness to moving this division is putting on a few pounds of iron, then he's doing the right thing, right? He's, he's burning his boats and he, he's going all in. I'll tell you guys a story. You've heard the burn your boats, right, from Cortez when he, when he was a conqueror, but I know a personal story like that. Coach Tom Ryan, the head coach of Ohio State University right now. And as a recruit, he's one of the top guys in the country. He goes out to the University of Iowa. And the only thing he owned was his car. Like many college kids, right? He doesn't have very many possessions. But his father had told him when he drove away to go to college, he said, hey, son, if it doesn't work out out there, get in this car and just head back home. We'll figure it out. And Tom Ryan couldn't make the team at Iowa. He was having a hard time. He came to the conclusion that ultimately the reason that he wasn't all in is because he knew anytime it doesn't work out, he can get in his car and drive home like his dad told him. He took some gasoline, he doused the car, and he lit it on fire. Now he has no way to return home. Now he must make it work at Iowa. He finds himself in the NCAA Finals, and now he's one of the more decorated coaches in the country. I'm just sharing for you, sometimes you got to burn your boats. Sometimes when you know there's that way out, even if you keep it to yourself, you will have a way of finding it. The fact that John has done away with that has nothing to do with Adesanya, has nothing to do with 205 pounds, has a full commitment to do with heavyweight. John's right here. John's doing the right thing. 
We don't want a guy that's half in, half out. He'll use that as an excuse later. If you're on the bandwagon of, I want to see John Jones fail, and I think this is where he's going to fail, is at heavyweight. If that is where your mind is, you don't want him to have an excuse. So the fact that he's all in, even if you're in the category of hater, you win. You're getting your way. He's exposing it all. He's put it all out there on his own time frame to go to a weight class of his choosing. Good for John. 